Thank you. And last but not least, let's welcome Yan Huifang. She is the Vice Section Chief of the Department of Biomedical Engineering Department at China Japan Friendship Hospital. Welcome. Hello, everyone. I'm a biomedical engineering from China Japan Friendship Hospital in Beijing, China. And I'm very glad to be here to share my presentation today. Meanwhile, I also congratulate the successful hold of the seventh Global Clinical Engineering Day. I have been a biomedical engineer for 14 years, so undoubtedly I have accumulated my experiences, and of course, I also see the big progress achieved of our clinical engineering department, our hospital, and the field of our clinical engineering. I'm greatly honored to have this opportunity to communicate with you here. So, if you have any questions or advice, I would like to receive your feedback. I will talk about from the following two aspects. First of all, I will introduce the responsibility of the job of the clinical engineers in China, and then under the background of development and change, the new requirement that is we can also call of our national health policy in recent years. I want to share here the corresponding change, development, and improvement of our job by medical engineers. According to the information, such as the presentations, the papers from the network, and the journals or exports related to clinical engineering. I think there is no big differences between the roles of clinical engineers of our country and most of other countries. That is, to provide technical service rated medical equipment for clinicals, which is the management of the whole life cycle of medical equipment including the management of the budget for medical equipment purchasing and the equipment configuration, deployment, and maintenance, and to the obsolescence. Rather, the use of medical equipment is mainly done by doctors, nurses, or technical technicians in these our hospitals. However, in recent years, with the new requirements of a series of our country's health policy, the role of clinical engineering has been changed greatly, especially under the attack of COVID-19, which further has put forward high requirements for us. The health policies include the cancellations of bonus on medical consumables, consumables and drugs in hospitals, and the gradual implementations, implement, implementation of the change of medical payment method to the diagnosis-rated groups, which require us to strengthen the budget management of medical equipment, improve the applications of innovative medical equipment, and improve the use efficiency of medical equipment, and so on. As a result, the ways we work have changed dramatically, and with that, our management capabilities of medical device have improved to a large degree. For example, we realize the sharing of the data from a various medical information system rated medical equipment in the hospital. And therefore, we have established the medical equipment management information system in the whole life cycle. Through so this system, we realize real-time monitoring of the dynamic usage data on medical devices. And this data provides evidence-based support for the management decisions of medical equipment in hospitals. For example, for the equipment with low utilization rate, 
We adopt some mass management methods such as sharing and deployment of the equipment. At the same time, based on reward data or medical equipment, we have carried out some scientific management methods such as the use of the highest technical assessment, which is called HTA, to choose the appropriate medical equipment and whether we should purchase a new medical equipment or repair it, such as to discuss whether a variety of polyolog robotic surgical equipment recently should be introduced or not, and whether its technical indicators are better than the traditional equipment, or to decide which should be better between different types or similar devices for the vastly different prices through the combinations of HT tools and the, and the applications of real-world data. We can provide adequate data support for decisions makers related. In addition, our technology of medical equipment also has been improved through further education, training, and other methods, and therefore provide more convenient support for doctors, nurses, and we also form the more standardized system and the process about quality control, maintenance of medical equipment in order to improve management or equipment technology. During the COVID-19, clinical and juries has played a big role, for example, by providing remote real-time monitoring of the patient's vital signs change from different devices. In the isolation world, the timeliness and the accuracy of the treatment of critical ill patients has been improved greatly. Finally, I would like to express my wishes, which is I hope that we can strengthen com communications more in the future because we are a community of shared future. And of course, we always we can provide better equipment for clinical patients through our innovations. That's all. Oh, that's all. Thank you. And happy Global Clinical Angry Day.